okay folks today we'll be starting our hands-on for design and implementing a data science solution on azure so we'll be starting the fifth one train models within the azure how to train the model using the jupyter notebook i've opened this link here for the hands-on now here Machine learning is primarily about training models that you can use to provide predictive services to applications. In this exercise, you'll see how you can use Azure machine learning experiment to run training scripts and how to register the resulting train models. Okay. There are some prerequisite. You have to create workspace, machine learning workspace uh, within Azure. And then you have to go to the Azure machine learning studio uh, which is here so ml.azure.com this is azure machine learning studio once you create your workspace you will find the option to open your machine learning studio now under the azure machine learning studio we have notebooks which are related to jupyter notebooks uh, we have cloned from github so th these are all the notebooks related to all the hands-on today we'll be performing the fifth hands-on train models okay so i've opened this notebook so there are already some codes written here today we'll be just running those codes okay now to run those codes is there any prerequisite let me check here you see we are running the diabetes csp file uh, on a prediction on the diabetes csp file and then doing all kinds of feature selection labeling everything then running the logistic regression model calculating the accuracy of our model and then saving the tra trained model within the output folder okay so here you see outputs within that outputs folder we'll be able to see train models currently there are no train models here right once we'll run this we'll be able to see this train model saved as and then here azure machine learning widget right so all this model training everything that we are running will be under a python environment so there is a configuration environment configuration which is in the form of environment.yaml file from where this will take all the configuration settings for environment and then we are running the training script so that is written under diabetes training.python okay then these are all to log the matrices and then register the train models now the, the, here we are registering our train model which we stored in our output folder and then using that model to run on a new data okay this is all about same running the model saving the model everything running the python script for training and everything then saving up the or getting the matrices out of that run model right so this is all about the script to run the models within the Jupyter notebook and to run this we need to have a compute resource which we have already created earlier uh, please check out my other uh, youtube videos uh, previous youtube videos where i have covered how to create this compute resource and with all the settings okay so here i'll be starting my compute resource it's going to take some time to start so for that timing, I will pause my video and then we will continue from there. 
once the game is started okay so now our compute uh, resource is started here we can see compute instance is running and also in the notification also you can see the computer instance is running now here you will get the option to run all the cells okay you can stop the kernel or jupyter notebook instance you can save or clear the output here you can save it here you can restart the kernel okay and explorer and everything there are different options available related to the jupyter notebook okay you can check it out later if you want you can export this as a python html file latex file or pdf file okay here you got the option to uh, stop or restart or you can select a new complete instance okay i will just minimize this sidebar and then i will run all the cells okay so the first cell output is it's trying to print the azure machine learning version or package version okay so and also the workspace name that i have created then we are working with this training diabetes data set which is in the comma separated value format here you can see all kinds of importing that data then featuring and labeling that data and then predicting the diabetic values column and then regularization hyperparameter that you can search here we are splitting the test data and training data in the form of 30 and 70 percent so this is all about training the model and predicting the values and then verifying those values and saving the model to our output here you can see after running that script all the logs have been printed and you can go and see the logs under the logs folder so you can expand this one this is under logs azure ml logs right downloaded logs logs folder and azure ml and this is the log that we are checking so here you will find out different logs yeah then all the matrices regularization accuracy of our model is up to 70 percent and then these logs are written in the azure ml folder i don't know why it's not showing up here but it should show these logs are printed right 16 70. I'm just checking whether that logs are still not present. Anyway, move, let's move on. So model package. It is being stored somewhere, right? In the output folder. We can check output folder. 
downloaded output folder here we have sample csv data diabetes data diabetes experiment training model so all these things you can see from here fine so this is how we are going to train our model right And this notebook you can after running you can always save this notebook so that it will be in the persistent mode with all the output will be also saved along with the notebook so this is it about the fifth hands-on about running the Jupyter notebook and within that notebook training our Azure model okay Thank you for watching. I will stop the video now. Please like and subscribe my video.